Tulane won the finale against High Point with a 12th inning walk-off hit. It was certainly a hair-raising win, which was followed by a different type of hair-raising. That's R-A-Z-I-N-G. Every member of the Green Wave baseball team had his head shaved for pediatric cancer awareness. Oh, it's an awesome opportunity. We really enjoy it as a team. Every year we get the opportunity to take part with other teams across the country and raise money for the kids that, you know, they fight a tough battle every single day. We just get to come out here and play baseball. It's a lot, you know, it's a great opportunity for us to show respect to them. But you had the most to lose here. How are you feeling about that? Um, I'm just happy to help out the organization that we can. It'll grow back eventually. I don't really look a whole lot different with it, my hair on my head or off my head. So, uh, but no, it's, it's a lot of fun for a great cause. And, um, uh, you know, it's, it's just fun being out here with these guys in this organization. The event was part of Tulane's effort to raise money for the Versus Cancer Foundation, which is dedicated to saving children's lives. The foundation and the hair shaving events that take place around the country are organized by Chase Jones, the nephew of Tulane coach Rick Jones. The Versus Cancer Foundation is really just a platform for these student athletes to give back to childhood cancer. So what we've seen is that being a former student athlete myself, we do have a, a platform that is unique to pretty the average student. And just to use that in a, in a positive way, to make a positive impact, that's our real goal here. Well, this is a, for a great cause, you know, uh, to help help uh, fight childhood cancer and you know it, the fact that it's my nephew's foundation but he's doing this all over the country you know he's at all Alabama Auburn game on Tuesday night he's been here this week visiting with other coaches around the area but uh, he's a cancer survivor himself so these two lane players are providing inspiration but they're also getting inspiration from Chase Jones who was the same age as these guys when he had his battle with cancer gained just a really good grasp on life and you know living each day up to its fullest you know he talks about the opportunity that you have every single day to come out here and really just enjoy it one of the first steps that I took in, in my treatment was my hair was gone my teammates when I played baseball they shaved their heads and that was significant for me and just recovery so I think among all the money raised this is really inspiration for all those kids that are going through cancer right now to see the Tulane baseball team shaving their heads that's pretty cool and when he was going through it what a lot of little kids had to go through, and maybe their parents couldn't be there with them or uh, didn't have the resources. And um, he said, you know, this is something I want to do something about. I'm real proud of him. Sunday was the culmination of Tulane's fundraising efforts for Versus Cancer, and they have raised more than $10,000, half of which is going to Oxner Hospital in the creation of a teen room, a place where kids undergoing treatment can relax and have fun. In New Orleans, Paul Boron for CST Tonight.